I opened two gifts this morning. They were my eyes. Clear vision is something that many of us take for granted. My thesis focuses on genetically blinding diseases. And one of those diseases commonly occur at, at, at the age of 40. The major symptom for it is buildup of water in the eye. And this leads to blurred vision. As shown on the image on the right, compared to the clear vision on the left. And then it progresses to painful blindness. So this is important because it represents 4% of the population in Canada, which means one in 25 Canadians would develop painful disease by the age of 40. Some of the known treatments that are available are either using a hair dryer to dry out the excess water in the eye, which you could all imagine is not pleasant. The other treatment would be corneal replacement. And this also has its own risks and drawbacks. Now the eye consists of many different parts, and I focus on only one part that is called the cornea. It forms the outermost layer of the eye, and it's exposed to the air. It's a thin, transparent layer that protects our eyes and focuses the light for us to be able to see things around us. And one of the major things responsible for this disease is a single protein in the cornea, and it works like a door. It allows for water to move in the cornea, and it maintains the right level of water to keep our corneas and vision clear. However, in this disease, this door is locked, and this leads to the buildup of water. My thesis is to look for the correct key to unlock this door and to rescue the function of the protein and bring things back to normal. In our lab, we have a way to produce this defective protein in grown cells. And then we treat it with the drug and monitor the rate of water movement. In conclusion, clear vision is a blessing, and losing that would dramatically affect the quality of life. So the results of my work would be very useful to help people who are at risk of blindness. So for this reason, I made my mission to save your vision. Thank you.